All right, so now we're gonna do a continuous or running stitch. We have our simple interrupted, our vertical mattress, and now we're gonna do a continuous stitch. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna throw a stitch just like I would a simple interrupted. Reload. Now I'm gonna tie it off. I usually leave my forceps in my hand to just save time, but you can set them down while you're not tying. Okay, I'll set them down just for... Okay, there we go. We're doing our surgeon's knot and then laying it flat. So then we'll finish out our knot tying, but we're not gonna cut it at the end, right? Because we wanna keep it going. So we're gonna leave it like that. We're not gonna cut it. And now we're gonna go ahead and go underneath to kind of hide our hide our knot so that we can have our stitches running parallel to each other. So when we go in on this one, we're gonna go in right next to this to the knot, not cutting it, but just right next to it. And we're gonna come through in the middle. Okay. So we're gonna lay that nice and flat. It kind of disappears. Okay. Then we're gonna reload and we're coming diagonally to the next dot from underneath so we're going to grab here we're going to come back underneath here and we're going to pop through on that side so there we go it's it's diagonal underneath the skin so that it can be parallel on top of the skin it just looks a lot cleaner so i'm going to grab right here take a bite and grab this and just kind of lay it down like that Coming out diagonal. Kind of lay, make sure that everything's laying flat as I go. This one goes across. Just making sure it kind of lays flat. Now I'm in the middle, I'm gonna finish this one. Remember I'm coming out diagonally, so I'm coming to the next dot. When you don't have the dots, you kind of have to lay it out I'll show you how I do it right now. So if I don't have the dot there, I'm gonna kind of lay it across to see, okay, I know kind of ballpark where I'm going. So I'll come through here. Finish that. And on this one, I'm gonna leave a little loop. This is my last, my last one, but I can't finish in the middle. I have to come out on the other side. So on this last one, I'm gonna come out closer right here just so it looks neater. So on this one, I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna come out about right there. I'm gonna pull it through. And right here, I'm gonna kind of make sure everything is nice and tight. Set this down. And I'm gonna do a surgeon's knot using this. I'm gonna pull it as tight as I need to so it's not too tight, not too loose. And then I'm gonna close off the knot like that. And then finish tying them. And once I got that, then I'm gonna cut my ends. I'll probably cut this one first. And then cut the three here. And there you go. That's four throws, that's how many you need.